May I speak in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace, mercy, and peace from our Heavenly Father and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to start this service by giving thanks and praising the holy name of the Lord God Almighty, our Heavenly Father, and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of Psalm 108, Glory to you, O Christ. O oh God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake lute and harp, I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory above all the earth, that your beloved may be delivered. Say with your right hand and hear me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem, and measure out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the helmet for my head. Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot. Over Edom I will cast my shoe, over Philistia I will triumph. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O God, who cast us off, and you, O God, who did not go out with our armies? Give us help from trouble, for the help of man is useless. True God, we will do valiantly, for it is he who shall tread down our enemies. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that! Our first hymn, sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea, is Living Hope. Amen.
As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. Your word brings on the dusk of evening. Your wisdom creates both night and day. You determine the cycles of time. You arrange the succession of seasons and establish the stars in their heavenly courses. Lord of the starry host is your name. Living and eternal God, rule over us always. Blessed be the Lord, whose word makes evening fall. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. God's whole creation groans. The land produces thorns and thistles and is ready for burning. Our sin affects all around us. We confess our sin in penitence and faith. Your righteousness, Lord, is like the strong mountains and your justice as the great deep. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. With you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. O continue your righteous dealing to those that are true of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Let us therefore, in a moment of silence, confess our sins before our Heavenly Father and our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ, in penitence and faith. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with heartly repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, whose no failing providence ordered all things both in heaven and earth, we humbly beseech thee to put away from us all hurtful things and to give us those things which be profitable for us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our first reading is from Isaiah chapter 1 verse 1 and from verses 10 to 20. Glory to you, O Christ. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jodham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear to the law of our God, you people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me, says the Lord? I have had enough of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed cattle. I do not delight in the blood of bulls, or of lambs, or gods. When you come to appear before me, who has required this from your hand to trample my cords? Bring no more futile sacrifices. Incense is an abomination to me. The new moons, the sabbaths, and the calling of assembles. I cannot endure inequity and the sacred meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts 
my soul hates. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing them. When you spread out your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Even though you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil, learn to do good. Seek justice, rebuke the oppressor, defend the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the month of the Lord has spoken. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. This is the word of our God. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Our second reading is from Hebrews chapter 11 from verses 1 to 3 and 8 to 16. Glory to you, O Christ. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtain a good testimony. By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. By faith he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he waited for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. By faith Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child when she was past the age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore from one man and him as good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, were assured of them, embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better, that is, a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that! This is the word of our God. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ was revealed in flesh, proclaimed among the nations, believed in throughout the world. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Christ. Do not fear, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master, when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat, and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so, blessed are those servants. But notice that if the master of the house had known what are the thief would come, he would have watched and not allow his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. 
This is the word of our Lord. Glory to you, O Christ. Amen. May I speak in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Last week, I talked about after being called, I made a conscious decision to give up my career in investment banks and serve the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen to that. Four months after this decision, on 18th of August 2017, an ancient man in my dream showed me a big golden breastplate and it was offered to be mine. It was massive, gold and very substantial. It had power and prestige and a very high position attached to it. Amen. This is the breastplate of righteousness and faith in our Saviour Lord Jesus Christ. As the Bible states in Isaiah chapter 59, under the Redeemer of Zion from verse 16, Then the Lord saw it, and it displeased him, that there was no justice. He saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore his own arm brought salvation for him, and his own righteousness it sustained him, for he put on righteousness as a breastplate. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. And in Ephesians chapter 6, under the whole armor of God, from verse 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armour of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand therefore having girded your ways with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. And it's also referred as the breastplate of faith in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, under the day of the Lord, from verse 5. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of, night, of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith. Amen. In the following month, in September 2017, I sold the family home in North London and moved into a small rundown apartment in West London, then moved to East London, then back to North London, then to the South Coast. In fact, since the Lord called me by my name, I do not know where I am going, like Abraham. <laughs> Amen. For Bible says, for Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive as an inheritance, and he went out not knowing where he was going. All I know, I left all behind and followed the Lord. Amen. Salvation is an act of faith in the Son of God, our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ, and faith is as we have just heard from our gospel reading, the abundance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. Bible says, Then Peter answered and said to him, See, we have left all and followed you. Therefore, what shall we have? So Jesus said to them, And everyone who has left houses or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life. Matthew chapter 19, verse 29. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that. Subsequently, in June 2020, Lord has told me in a dream that I am his daughter, and he is going to give me a land as an inheritance. As we have heard in our gospel reading, Abraham was promised the Holy Land by the Lord as an inheritance for himself and for his offspring. And a year after this dream, in June 2021, the Lord our God has kindly granted me the land 
for my ministry in North London. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Accept our Lord Jesus Christ as your righteous Savior and follow him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the Messiah. He is the majesty, the heavenly king sitting on his throne. The king of all kings, the Lord of all lords, our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the son of God. He is the Lord. Amen. I have seen the Lord and I testify for him that he is the living God. He is the light of the world. He is pure white light and his light is covering the whole earth and there is no darkness to him. He is the line of Judah. He is the builder, son of God, repair of broken walls. He is the teacher. He is the guide. He is the trainer. He is the father. He is the savior of the world. He is our brother and friend, Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen to that. On 13th of September 2019, I was, given, I was given a word that started with, the righteous will flourish in the land, the unfaithful will be uprooted, the upright will be rooted. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen to that. Be one of those righteous people who will flourish in the land by act of faith in Lord Jesus Christ. Our God, our Lord, who is the rewarder of faith we have in him. Amen. Our second hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is Lion and the Lamb. Amen. Is coming on the clouds, king and kingdoms will bow down. Every chain will break as broken hearts declare his praise. Our God is a lion, the lion of Judah. He's roaring with power. In our battles, every knee will bow before Him. Our God is the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. His blood breaks the chains. Every knee will bow before the Lion. Every knee will bow before Him. So open up the gates, make way before the King of Kings. The God who comes to save is seen to set the captives free. Stop the Lord Almighty. Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can stop the Lord Almighty? Who can 
Let's declare our faith in the words of Creed before our Heavenly Father and our Savior Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen to that! Let us pray to God, the Lord of the harvest, that he will bring to fruition all that he desires for his creation. Lord of the harvest, when we lift up our eyes to pursue with Christ's eyes, we see that the fields of the world are already white for harvest. We pray for your church that it may be spiritually equipped to reap the harvest of souls. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of the harvest, you have created the universe by your eternal word and have blessed humankind in giving us the dominion over the earth. We pray for your world that we may share and converse its resources and live in reverence for the creation and in harmony with one another. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of the harvest, whose Son has promised that the Spirit will lead us into all truth, we pray for the community in which he has set us, for one another and for ourselves, that we may bear the harvest of the Spirit in love and joy and peace. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of the harvest, though you have given the human race a rich land, a land of streams and springs, wheat and barley, wines and oil and honey, we have made by sin a world of suffering and sorrow. We pray for those who bear the weight of affliction, that they may come to share the life of wholeness and plentiful. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of the harvest, your Christ, the first fruits of the resurrection, will put in the sickle for the harvest of the dead at the end of time. We pray for all those who have gone before us in his peace, that he will bring safely home all whom we have given him and gather us all to share together in the banquet of the age to come. Lord of creation, in your mercy, hear us. Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In a moment of silence, let each of us make our own private prayers and petitions before our Heavenly Father and our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Merciful Father, accept this prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The harvest of the Spirit is love, joy and peace. If the Spirit is the source of our life, let the Spirit also direct its course. Peace of the Lord always be with you. Amen. And now we give you thanks because all things are of your making. All times and seasons obey your laws, but you choose to create us in your own image, setting us over the whole world in all its wonder. You made us stewards of your creation to praise you day by day for the marvels of your wisdom and power. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, you are worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they exist and were created. Amen. We praise you and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us, the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. Thank you, my Father. He broke the bread and gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you and gave it to them and said, Thank you, my Father. Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice, made once for all upon the cross, bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favor on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with all your saints to feast at your table in heaven through Christ and with Christ and in Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory are yours. O oh, loving Father, now and forever, forever and ever. Amen. Creator of all, we have gathered many grains and made them into this one bread. We look for your church to be gathered from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. Amen. Christ is the bread of life who came down from heaven. Lord Jesus, give us this bread forever. Amen. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you, preserve your body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him with your heart by faith and thanksgiving. Amen. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for you, preserve your body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for you, and be thankful. Amen. Creator God, you give seed for us to sow and bread for us to eat. Make us thankful what we have received and do in us those generous things that supply your people's needs, so all the world may give you thanks and glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
May God, the Father of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created and upon you, his children, that you may use them to his glory and the welfare of all peoples and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. In the beginning you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. To dispel the darkness of our night, you sent forth your Son, the firstborn of all creation. He is our Christ, the light of the world, and him we acclaim as all creation sings to you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, blessed be God forever. Amen. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Blessing and honor and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and the Lamb forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Our final hymn sung by my beautiful daughter Andrea is No Longer Slaves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen to that. No, no. 